Court records reveal new details about the drug-induced robberies of people visiting Manhattan bars, including two deadly cases. And tonight, police are still looking for a third suspect. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas reports from Hell's Kitchen. Christina Maurice, records unsealed today reveal that police believe at least five people worked together in a series of crimes, and their M.O. was to approach people leaving Manhattan bars and, quote, offer and administer drugs to them with the goal of stealing their money when they're incapacitated. Well, I was relieved and thankful. Gratitude is what Linda Clary says she felt when she heard about the arrest of 34-year-old Robert DeMeo this morning. DeMeo is charged with robbing and murdering Clary's son, 33-year-old John Umberger, in May. And I am just confident that God is going to redeem this situation, even if we've just saved somebody, one other person from being hurt. Um, we don't want anyone to hurt like we have. DeMeo and at least one other man, 30-year-old Jacob Barroso, are charged with murdering 25-year-old Julio Ramirez last April. Both suspects were escorted by police to court to face charges of murder and robbery. Police say both Ramirez and Umberger died of overdoses after separate drug-induced robberies after nights out at Hell's Kitchen bars. Investigators say they obtained messages from 2021 in which DeMeo mentioned he can buy fentanyl for, quote, $300 a sleeve. Unfortunately, these were not isolated incidents, and authorities have told me that they believe that this is a growing category of crime. People going out to nightlife venues and victimizing nightlife patrons. Police say the deaths of Umberger and Ramirez are part of a citywide pattern that includes 17 robberies. DeMeo and Barroso also face charges of identity theft, as police believe the crew went into victims' phones to get personal financial information. Sources tell CBS2 police are still looking for at least one suspect, 35 year old Jaquan Hamilton. I just believe that. Um, you know, Mr. Hamilton will be caught or, or, you know, God will take care of him one way or the other. We reached out to the attorneys for Barroso and DeMeo and a third suspect, Andre Butts, who is also charged with identity theft. Barroso's lawyer sent us an email saying his client maintains his innocence. And DeMeo's lawyer sent us an email simply stating that his client turned himself in this morning and he has no further comment. In Hell's Kitchen, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. And DeMeo, Butts, and Barroso have all pleaded not guilty.